friend we have in Jesus. Oh, I sin and grieve to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. Oh, what peace we have done for fear. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not care. Yes, sir. Everything to God in prayer. All be called we do not care. Everything to God in prayer. Have we tried? And temptation, well, well. is there trouble anywhere? Have we tried and temptation? Is there trouble in Take it to the Lord in prayer. Jesus knows I'm here we take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find well, a friend so faithful yes, sir. who will all our sorrow share? Can we find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrow Take it to the Lord in prayer. Jesus knows I every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer.
and I did not know it. Well. Well, two or three are gathered together in my name. Mm -hmm. I am there in the midst of them. Well, lo, I am with you always. Well, even to the end of ages. Mm -hmm. My presence will go with you, mm -hmm. and I will give you rest. Where can I go from your spirit? Mm -hmm. Or where can I flee from your presence? Mm -hmm. If I ascend into heaven, well, you are there. Yes, sir. If I make my bed in hell, uh -huh. behold, you are there. Mm -hmm. Am I a God? Near at hand, says the Lord, and not God far off. Mm -hmm. Can anyone hide himself in secret places? Amen. So I shall not see him, <laughs> says the Lord. Do I not feel help in earth, mm -hmm. says the Lord. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let us bow our head for a word of prayer. Amen. Our Father, well, and our God, yes, sir. I want to thank you that you command us to be strong and courageous. Mm -hmm. And not to be frightened. Amen. Just as you spoke to Joshua so long ago. I ask you, oh God, to help us not to be dismayed Amen. or upset. Mm -hmm. Because you are near and you're always with us. Yes, and I just want to thank you, oh God, for being a God that is near us as well or far off. Mm -hmm. And you know, son, Lord, we don't have to worry about the things we need. Because you're so close to us that you already know what we need. Yes, sir. You stand at the door. You abide in our souls. Mm -hmm. And I just want to thank you, oh God, that we cannot flee from your presence well. because you're a God that is close to us. Mm -hmm. And I thank you, oh God, that you won't abandon us. You won't leave us. I thank you for being our strength, for being our power. I thank you, oh God, that, that when we face troubles, you will be with us and you'll bring us out of all our troubles. Yes, sir. I just said, have mercy, my Lord. Well, yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. For well, where you brought us, and that you always will be with us. And then, Lord, I ask you to bless the sick, bless our church family, and bless each and every one, mm -hmm. because you've been mighty good to yes, us. Yes, sir. So I just thank you, Lord, mm -hmm. that you will be with us always. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Good morning to good each morning. and every one. Good morning. And on behalf of Reverend Jerry Walden and the Sand Hill and Tunnel Grove Baptist Churches, we would like to welcome you to our Sunday service. Amen. Last Sunday, I gave you guys a break on beating that horse I've been beating for the last year or so. But I got to get back on in the day. All right. We need, the pandemic is still in full force, apparently. Yes, sir. Amen. And it seems like these spring breaks and all these other things that these kids are doing, and some adults for that matter, mm. are going to cause some outbreaks or some surges in the outbreak. So us, we need to continue social distancing, continue to wear our masks, continue to wash our hands wherever possible, and stay at home whenever possible. But more importantly, I think at this point, is get vaccinated. Amen. Now this morning, uh, the story is actually about vaccinations. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that this, uh, this occurred yesterday, and it's some important information for people in our age group. You know, people that are a year old and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Initially, I had uh, a friend went and got his second vaccination, mm -hmm. and. When he got home, he noticed that he had, his vision was blurred, mm -hmm. and he was having a little trouble with that. So he called back down to the vaccination center and told him he was experiencing blurred vision. Mm -hmm. Did he need to go to the doctor or go to the emergency room or come back down there? And he said, well, you don't need to go to the doctor nor the hospital. And you know how we get. He didn't wouldn't let the lady finish. Mm -hmm. he, he just went crazy. Buddy, what do you mean? I don't, I don't need to go. Y'all done fooled me to take this shot. Now nah, I got blurred vision. I didn't have it before I came down there and took the shot. She was trying to say, sir, excuse me. He just told no, nah, no, nah, y'all done fooled me. Somebody going to tell me something. So the lady let him go on and go on and go on. So after he run out of gas, the lady said, sir, you don't have to go to the doctor. You don't have to go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. All you need to do it come back down to the center and pick up your glasses. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs>
In your name we do pray. Amen. Amen. Again, Psalm 138 and verse number 7. And it reads as follows. Mm -hmm. Though the Lord be high, yet has he respect unto the Lord. But the proud he knoweth afar off. That's mm -hmm. number 6. Mm -hmm. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, mm -hmm. thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thy hand against the wrath of my enemies. Mm -hmm. And thy right hand shall save me. Amen. The word of God Amen. from the children of God. And a little while today we want to talk to you from the subject. When trouble is all around. Well, so, well. When trouble is all around. Mm -hmm. And as we begin this message. All of us, I believe, can identify that wherever we look, <clears throat> we are able to see a little bit of trouble. Mm -hmm. I heard somebody say one time, if it isn't one thing, mm -hmm. then it's another thing. Amen. As we began to look at this song that we have before, <clears throat> we believe that David is the writer of this song. All right. And who better than David to come and to tell us about trouble? Because David had to deal with all kinds of trouble in his life, just like some of us mm -hmm. do today. He was uh, on his way to Jerusalem on one occasion and minding his own business. Mm -hmm. That sounded like some of us minding our own business. Well, and trouble came up. He wasn't expecting no trouble, but trouble came up. It is said that one time when he was tending sheep, that the bear and the lion came in the midst of the sheep, and he had to defend the lion, uh, the, defend the sheep. Mm -hmm. So trouble just seemed to follow old man David. Mm -hmm. And it is said that King Saul, who was the king, uh, David was coming up. I don't know what David did, but the king got jealous of David, and he had to deal with that. Mm -hmm. So wherever David went, he come across some enemy. It seems like that's the way it is with us, y'all. When you try to do good, somebody gonna knock you down. Mm -hmm. Somebody gonna talk about you. Somebody gonna jump up. And the amazing thing, sometimes it be what you think was your best friend mm -hmm. that throw the first rock and hide their hand, mm -hmm. y'all. I ain't here to tell you that King David have a lot of things that he have had to deal with. He even had one of his sons that sought to kill him. Mm -hmm. One of his own blood and faith sons sought to kill his dad. That's trouble. So David could come today and he can tell us about trouble and trouble being all around us and uh, what we need to do when trouble is around us. And in this lesson today, we want to look at some things that David shares here in this song. And uh, look at some of the things that he dealt with and how he was able to deal with these situations. Mm -hmm. When trouble is all around you. And the first thing that I get here is, before trouble comes, temptation will visit you first. Amen. Before Amen. trouble comes, temptation will visit you first. All right, and, and you heard me talk about temptation and my love for uh, Candy and sodas mm -hmm. and cake and ice cream. But ice cream is my problem, though, y'all. Mm -hmm. And look like when everything is going all right at the house, y'all. Mm -hmm. I think about Reverend Evans, the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. More than likely, it will have some ice cream in it, y'all. <laughs> and for some reason, well, I go get me a bowl of. And I don't have mind enough just to eat one bowl. All right, okay. I have to eat several bowls, y'all. Mm -hmm. And that's not good for me. And it'll cause some problems for me down in the road. I need to tell you, before trouble comes, temptation is there. It can be looking you dead in the eye. And it won't say a word until something starts to happen mm -hmm. or manifest itself around. Well, in a good sense. It's all right to have trouble, because sometimes trouble will help us to walk 
in the right direction. Amen. Sometimes we got trouble. Some of us will do some amazing and ugly things, y'all. Well. But I need to tell you, before trouble come, temptation will visit you. It'll show you some things. It'll tell you you can do some things. It'll even fool you sometimes. It'll even tell you you can do this. And you know there ain't no way in the world you can do it. Right. But because the devil has told you you can do it, you're going to try it anyway. Mm -hmm. And when you try, then that's trouble. Face your dead in the eye. Mm -hmm. and, and you know what, y'all? Many times we want to point out a finger at somebody else being the one that calls us out of trouble. Sometimes we call it ourselves trouble. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all ain't going to Come on, preach up. I need to tell you, uh -huh. temptation is all around. Yes, sir. So we got to be careful when temptation is all around. We got to walk carefully. We got to keep our eyes on the Lord. And if we keep our eyes on the Lord, he will take care of us. Amen. A lot of lives have been ruined by temptation. Yes, sir. Seeing something, hearing something mm -hmm. that you didn't have no business hearing and didn't have no business seeing. Yeah, you man, know, preacher. And you had the sword or had to hurt it, you will have been all right. Yes, sir. Know. Yes, sir. But I'm going to tell you, the devil know how to work that old temptation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He know how to bring it to you. He know how to give it to you. Mm -hmm. But it is all around us. Therefore, we must learn to deal with temptation. Let me say that again. We got to learn to deal with temptation. Our temptation is around us. Jesus had to deal with temptation. And if he had to deal with temptation, what about me and you? So we just have to make up our mind that we are going to deal with it. With the help of the Lord. You got to have the help of the Lord, y'all. Listen at 1 Timothy 6 and 11, what he said. But thou, O man of God, Flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, and meekness. So here, the writer of Timothy is telling us, you got to flee some things, y'all. Yes, you got to turn your back on some things. Uh -huh. You got to walk away from some things. Because if you don't, oh man, temptation will get you and trouble will end up throwing you down. Amen. When trouble is all around you. The second thing I see here, see here is trouble will walk you down. Amen. Ain't no need of us standing here today and telling you Amen. that trouble can't find. Mm -hmm. Trouble knows where you live at. Yes, sir. He knows when you sleep and he knows when you're awake. Trouble will walk you down. Mm -hmm. You cannot hide from trouble. Cannot live so good that trouble will not bother you. I think some of us in the church think that. If I live good enough, trouble ain't going to bother me. But I, I, I'm not quite sure, Reverend Edna, that might be the time when trouble really comes to check on you when you're trying to live right yes, and trying to do the yes, right thing. Right, right, yes, I need to tell you, trouble will come and see about you. Yes, and don't have in your mind that I, I'm too good a Christian for trouble to bother. Mm -hmm. I've been on this journey too long for trouble to bother. There's something on the journey longer than you and I have been on the road, and trouble will knock them down. Yes, sir. Down, yes, down, sir. Down. And here to tell you, we got to learn to put our hands in the Lord's hand. And when we put our hand in the Lord's hand and walk with the Lord, the Lord will make a way for us because trouble is all around. Yes, sir. And again, some of us. Uh, may like nothing don't bother me. I, I've heard some folks say, we well, really nothing don't bother me. I, I, I'm all right. <coughs> but we better do some examining. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, I'm just being honest. They some things bother me. You know? Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. So trouble is around me. And we got to put our hand in the master's hand and hold on to his hand. Yes, sir. And as long as you hold on to his hand, when trouble does come, he can guide you around. You yes, know. sir. Man. He right. knows how to do that. Well. For as old man Job that said in Job 14 and 1, man that is born of a woman yeah. is a few days and full of trouble. Yes, sir. Yes, man. there's trouble around us, y'all. And there's trouble that every one of us can get into, y'all, mm -hmm. when trouble is around. The third thing I want to share with us from this lesson, when trouble comes, 
Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, y'all missed that one. Amen. Let, let me say that again. When trouble comes, praise the Lord. Yes, sir. Now, I can hear some of y'all talking now. Right. So the pastor done lost his mind. Talking about praise the Lord when trouble comes. Mm -hmm. I need to tell you again. Trouble is around all of us. Yes, sir. So when trouble comes in your life, you need to praise the Lord. By praising the Lord, you are, are exalting the Lord. You are honoring the Lord. And when you honor the Lord, the Lord can work some miracles in your life. Yes, uh, so when trouble comes, you just tell the Lord, thank you for just letting me live to see this situation. But with your help, Lord, I can make it through it, no matter what the situation is. Well, uh, you just ask the Lord and pray that the Lord would guide you in the way that you would go. And just tell him, thank you for what you have done for it. Yes. And every now and then, you need to look at your life and look back where you done come from, y'all. Mm -hmm. Think about what the Lord done, where the Lord has already brought you from. And that ought to make you praise the Lord, y'all. Mm -hmm. Think about when you were a little boy, didn't even know nothing about the Lord. The Lord made a way for yes, you. Sir. Think about some hard tasks that you had to go through. And you were about ready to throw in the towel, but the Lord worked it out. And you come out all right, y'all. Yes, you ought to be able to look back in your life and think about something that you can praise the Lord for, what he already done done for it. Yeah. I heard the old church say, if you don't do nothing else, right. you already done done for right. 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 yeah. See, we need to look at what the Lord done brought us from. Yes, he done brought us from a mighty long way. Yes, you know? yeah. Some of us have been deep in the valley. We've been down that, but the Lord reached down and picked us up out of the valley. Yeah. So we ought to praise the Lord. For what he has already done. Right. Yeah. For Psalms 150 and verse number 6 says, Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Praise ye the Lord. Mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you, the Lord is worthy to be praised. Mm -hmm. right. When trouble is around. Yes, sir. The next thing I see here, make sure you are totally committed to the Lord. Let me say that again. Make sure that you are totally committed to the Lord. Uh -huh. Some of us call ourselves serving the Lord, but we are part-time servants. Uh -huh. We serve the Lord when it's convenient uh -huh. or when we feel like it. But I'm here to tell you, you got to be totally devoted to the Lord, y'all, uh -huh. in order to make it through. Part-time ain't going to do it. Amen. I'm here to tell you, uh, some of us want to serve him when it's convenient. Yes, sir. Some of us want to serve the Lord when we want to impress somebody. Yes, sir. But I'm going to tell you, you got to be totally committed. Whether you're impressing somebody or not impressing somebody, you just go on and serve like, serve the Lord. Serve the Lord when you feel like. Mm -hmm. Serve the Lord when you don't feel like. Yes, sir. Serve the Lord when people are patting you on the back. And serve the Lord when people ain't saying nothing about you. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to tell you, when you serve the Lord, there will be time just like that, y'all. You working hard and doing the best that you can to uplift the Lord's name. Folk will walk by and won't say a word. Yes, Amen. Amen. Yeah. All right, preacher. I'm going to tell you, you just keep on serving the name. Mm -hmm. you, you be totally committed. Give it everything that you got. That when you get to the end of your life, you can say to the Lord, Lord, I've done the best that I could. Yeah. And when you say that from your heart, that means something, y'all. Amen. See, some of us are good at using words, y'all. We quit to try to impress them by, Lord, mm -hmm. it's hard out here, but I'm doing the best that I can. Yes, sir. Trying to impress somebody mm -hmm. else. But when you are actually doing the best that you can, that means something, mm -hmm. y'all. That means that you are committed to the Lord. So in times like this, we got to be fully committed to the Lord. Paul was fully committed to the Lord. Job was fully committed to the Lord. Others were fully committed to the Lord. You and I got to be committed to the Lord. For it is Job 13 and 15 say, Though he slay me, yep. yet will I trust All right. him. But I will maintain my own way mm -hmm. before him. Amen. So here, the, the writer of Job is telling him that I, 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 I'm committed to the Lord. I'm going to trust him no matter what kind of wind blow my way, what kind of storms I have to go through. I am going to trust the Lord. I'm totally committed. I'm in it to the end. Yeah, right. The Lord said, well done. Well done. 
Well done. We need more Christians like that to be totally Amen. committed to the Amen. Lord. Amen. Just keep on fighting, no matter what the world say about you and what the world do. You just keep on fighting until you hear the Lord say, "Well done." Well done. Well done. When He said, "Well done," yes. you can take out your music and go to the house. Then, all well right. Done. Talking about when trouble is all around. Yes, sir. When trouble is all around, that's a good time to pray. Yes. Y'all do hear what I say. Come on, preacher. See, some of us, when trouble come around, we, we, we get so agitated, we get so involved in other stuff, we stop praying. Do you not feel like to me that ought to be one of the times yeah, yeah. that we are praying yeah, when right. trouble is around? Yes, yeah, sir. Some of them say a mumbling word, we want to accuse somebody else of doing something yeah, to us. But when trouble is around, mm -hmm. you ought to start praying, show nothing. Because Prayer will bring you through, y'all. Yes, sir. Some of us would not be here today if it was not for prayer. Amen. Prayer brought our forefathers, it brought our fathers, our mothers, our grandfathers, and grandmothers. And guess what? It'll bring you today. Mm -hmm. But you just got to use it. Yes, sir. It's more than just reading about it in the Bible. It's more than just hearing others talk about it. You got to let it become a personal part of your life. All right. You got to use it sometimes. Yes, sir. And I tell you what, if you start using it every now and then, you'll find yourself using it more often. Yeah. But, I, but you got to start by using it and trusting in the Lord when trouble is around. That's a good time to pray for the Bible says. When trouble is around, yeah. you ought to enter into your closet. Yeah. And I heard somebody say, when you close the door, yeah. then you can talk to the Lord. Amen. 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 You can tell him everything on your heart and all the stuff that you are dealing with. But I'm here to tell you, you need to tell God about the trials and tribulations. You need to tell God about the heavy burden that you have to bear in the heat of the day. And if you tell God about it, he will come and see about you. Yes, sir. For it is Luke 18 and 1 that said, And he spoke a parable unto them yes. to this end, that man ought to always to pray and not to thank yes, you. See, we need to do a little more praying mm -hmm. in the church. We need to do a little more praying in our lives. Yes, sir. And prayer will bring about some changes in our lives. Yes, sir. When trouble is all around. And the last thing that I want to tell you, you, when trouble is around, you must have confidence in the Lord. Uh -huh. Now, the Lord can, ain't, ain't going to work the out. You ain't got no confidence in it. You got to have confidence in the Lord. See, some of the old patriarchs in the church, they had confidence in the Lord. Uh -huh. That's why you would hear him say, He's a battle axe mm -hmm. in the time of battle. Well, they, they had confidence in the Lord that he would make a way out of no way. Well, the old church need, used to tell you he brought me yesterday yeah. and he'll bring me today. Uh -huh. You got to have confidence in the yes, Lord. Sir. I wonder is there anybody got a little confidence in the Lord that yea, your trouble might be getting higher and higher. Uh -huh. But you know that the Lord will bring you through. The old church used to say he used to be a doctor for those that needed a doctor. Yes, sir. He used to be a lawyer for those that needed a lawyer. He used to be a friend for those that needed a friend. Uh -huh. But guess what, church? He'll still be that same thing for you today. Yes, sir. If you need a mother, he'll be your mother. Uh -huh. If you need a father, he'll be your father. If you need a brother or sister, he'll be your brother or sister. Whatever you need, you just need to bring it to the Lord and have confidence, y'all, that he will make a way out of the way. Oh, yeah. I got confidence, y'all, because if I live to see tomorrow, and if it's the Lord's will, he's going to let the sun shine, y'all. I'm going to tell you, I got confidence if I live long enough. And to need a little rain my way, he's going to send a little rain, y'all. I, I got confidence that God got all power in his hand. I able to make a way out of no way. Yeah. He can work miracles, y'all, that nobody can do anything with. But you got to have confidence in it. Yes, sir. You got to believe yes, sir, that he can and will do those things. Well, well, and if we check out our history, Check out around. 
He's done it in the past. Yes, sir. He's done it for others. And if he's done it in the past and has done it for others, he'll do it for you and he'll do it now. Amen. Many of us Amen. are going through some things. Mm -hmm. Many of us are dealing with some trouble. Mm -hmm. But that's just a part of the life. But when you invite God to come in mm -hmm. and be a part of your life, well, then he will work things out. Yes, sir. But you just got to invite the Lord in. And let him have his way. Have his way. Yes, sir. See, now, I'm through. Some of us want the Lord to come in. Uh -huh. But we want to tell him what to do, Thank what not to do, and how to do it, what time. Amen. When you invite the Lord in, you just invite him in and ask him to work it out. Child. Yes, sir. And have that confidence. Uh -huh. He will work it out. Yes, sir. May the Lord bless each and every one of you. At this time, we're going to extend an opportunity for membership. If that be anyone listening to us that would like to become a part of our church family or any church family, you just get in touch with me and I will get you to wherever you need to be. And we'll pray for you that the Lord will continue to bless you. Mm -hmm. In these troubled times that we're living, y'all, we can't make it without the Lord. Amen. We need the Lord. So we'll pray and thank you for tuning in being a part of these services. Amen. Now, may the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit and the love of Lord Jesus Christ go and abide with you wherever you go. This is our prayer. Amen. Amen. Amen.